to they're the ones that carried the coal for the Berlin when Russia blocked us from coming into Berlin and uh, the uh, and it had the little holes for the guns on the side and bucket seats no straps no nothing and you look at the pile the pile and all anyway so we, we were flying that back and it could only hold enough gas to fly a day and it took us three days to fly the, the distance across the country and uh, so our last stop was right field loaded up with gas and we're now on our way to Farmingdale where we're now going to be home and we get which we thought was Farmingdale and it's all fogged in and uh, we could hear the guys, the pilot in the front, because everybody could hear everybody in the plane. And he's they're saying, we're socked in, you can't land. And they said, how about Calverton? Calverton is the air base that's out by Riverhead. And they said, we want to be clear here for a little bit. And uh, for the next five minutes, well, that the pilot said, it's going to take us 15 minutes to get out there. In the meantime, he's saying we only have about 50 gallons of, or 20 gallons of gas, very little gas left. And so Stewart Air Base up on the Hudson River calls in and says, we're going to be clear here for the next half hour. Well, the pilot now decides to head for there, but to go from Long Island up to Stewart, I mean, you use a tank of gas. So he said, we'll never make it. And just then, Hartford comes in. Uh, it says, we're going to be clear in the next 10 minutes or so, if you can make it. The pilot wings it. We can't see anything. He's You're just like... Yeah, we're in this, like in this whole fog. We don't know. We, we don't see anything down below. We're maybe flying, at Thursday, there was no plane in the high sky. We're maybe flying 500 feet or so. And uh, we feel pitch the thing because we're holding on to stop sliding around. And uh, we're going, and he says, all we got is five gallons of gas left. And he said, to prepare maybe to pitch. We don't even know where we're going to pitch to. And all of a sudden, we're all looking out of the window, and I still see it in my eyes today, a perfect cross through the clouds. Well, our pilot's seen it too. Mm -hmm. And that when he nosed down like this, I thought we were going to crash. And he brought it in. It was the cross landing runways of Hartford. Wow. We got out of the plane, and we're kind of touching the ground. We're looking up. It was gone. We were socked in. For that split moment, it was an opening. But it was right over the middle. Where the two big runs, at the, and that time, I maybe have the runs now, mm. and always remember that. That was so close, so close that we would have crashed. What, we kind, what kind of airplane was it? A C-47, two-engine, real a workhorse of a plane, really good. The pilot we had was really good. He was, he'd flown over in Europe, so he was an excellent pilot. Thank God. And then, of course. Uh, uh, when I got home from the war on the second day I was home, another fellow in town was home. And we met and said, what are we going to do? Well, what do you do? We've been away all these years. Nobody's around, you know. What are you going to do? Uh, well, uh, let's go to the movies tonight. Okay, Patrick had a great big movie house, great big lobby, and doors going in and doors coming out. And... Uh, so we went down, and we're in the lobby waiting. And uh, I said, "Let's let's go in free." He said, "You're kidding. What are we going to do?" I said, "When the other people come out, we're going to go in backwards." <laughs> I mean, you know, what? What? A, stupid. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> so John says, "Okay." So we're looking along the wall of all the big advertisements that are in the lobby, naturally. And all of a sudden, the doors, exit doors, open up. And so the two of us are kind of conversing. Oh my God, you shouldn't have forgotten your coat in there. God, we're going to have to get it. We're backing up through the crowd. And we're up to the doors now, almost in the theater. Somebody said, 
Hey, Miss Lubachek. <laughs> I, I turn around and it's the secretary of my high school coming out <laughs> with another girl with her. And they had seen the movie. And they said, oh, how'd you like the movie? <laughs> it was great. <laughs> I just forgot her jacket. Foiled. <laughs> we, well, we'd seen some of the pictures and say in the sub comments. Anyway, and we said, uh, oh, uh, you two, you know, alone? I said, yeah. They said, well, would you like to go out to? There was a couple of lunch in that place. And uh, so we went there. And that's how we met Teresa. That was going one of into the movie questions. house backwards, I met her. Wow. Wait, what? And uh, I asked her for a date, went out the next week. Was she one of the friends of the secretary? She was a friend. She taught in the school. She was the phys ed teacher. Oh. She was the phys ed teacher. She taught physical education because the men were all in the service. So she was teaching. They had soccer there and other things like that, but not football. Wow. But she taught that there. And... Uh, and I, I asked for a date the next week. We went out. And then the next week is when I went to Republic and they flew me out west. So I'd only seen it for one week. <laughs> wow. But you stayed in touch during that time? We wrote. Mm -hmm. And I think writing is one of the best ways that people can get to know each other. And uh, then when I was out there, I decided I'm going to go to, to college. And I made application to... Uh, uh, I, at first, I was going to become a, uh, a forest ranger. I thought, this is good. Be outside in the forest, these mountains out here. What a life this is. And I got the books. And I'm looking at them. I said, I'll never learn these things. <laughs> on this thing. So I said, maybe industrial arts because I like carpentry and all these other things. And, uh, and I had had it in high school. And the guy there was a good teacher. And so I made application to a sweet home. And I came home. I think we came home on a Friday, and on Monday I left for Oswego. Never been there, drove up to Oswego, and of course there were no highways in New York. All you had with the old roads, 9W, and these other old roads. Wow. You know, there was no interstates built yet. Eisenhower hadn't become president. So uh, I drove up there, and that's how I, I got up there that time. And so Teresa had only seen me for two days <laughs> at that time <laughs> but lots of letters back yeah. and forth and we decided to get married then at that time wow so anyway walking in backwards <laughs> and uh the, the, the wind clearing in in hartford and uh <laughs> there's funny things happen in one's life and you never know when they happen please wait 